What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of LM Outdoors and today we're going to be doing a little bit of river fishing first time of this year so I'm really excited well except for the steelhead fishing I guess that was river fishing too but we're going to do a little bottom fishing for carp and suckers for the first time of the year but before we get into it if you want to fast forward the video here I'm going to talk about a little bit of stuff but recently actually yesterday I just got home from Alabama we were there for four days and we did a little bit of fishing but while we were down there, we ended up not catching a ton of fish. We did catch some. We caught some little fish. I think I ended up with like 10, 10 or 12 little tiny fish, Cade too. But um, we didn't really know what they were either because we're, obviously we're from Wisconsin. We're not from down there. So I'm going to throw in a short clip for you guys of what we were catching down there in Alabama. But you guys that live down in Alabama, be sure to comment down below what they were because I have no idea. Me and Cade have no idea. But anyway, here's a clip of that. How many inches? How big was that? Got him. Oh, geez, it fights hard. Holy crap. Look at that thing. There we go. Are you sure? What is this thing? Look at that. Just on another fish bite. Different dock. Look at that. Man, they're so pretty here. All these fish are just awesome looking. Jeez, that thing fought good. Really? Oh, look at those teeth he's got. Get out. Keep him away. Dude, I'm not giving you my fish, okay? Go away. Look at that. Here we go. Jeez, he's feisty. Awesome fish. Look at those colors. They're just so pretty. There you go. Yeah, so as you guys saw right there, we didn't really know what species they were. So I've got one more quick announcement for you guys. I don't know if you guys have ever seen my gummy worm fishing video. I made it a few months ago, but I did it with Hunter Brecky. You guys should go check out his channel too, Addicted to Fish TV. But our plans were to catch some fish on the gummy worms. So we went to my grandpa's pond and I had mine just Texas rigged up for some bass and not even a bite, nothing. And it was so cold out there. I think just all the fish were shut down. So we decided to head over to my pond and I think we were there for probably an hour or two. And I cast it out by the log. I had taken my GoPro off my head because I was like, well, I don't know. I don't think we're going to catch anything. And I just set up the camera behind me in case I would get one. And I cast out by the log. I think I jig it up once and bam, I get something to nail it. And it, I feel it and it's a nice one. And it jumps up and it's actually a muskie. And what happened is my friend Hunter... Um, addicted to fish TV you guys should go out check out his channel too he actually pulled it up on the dock we didn't have a net it flipped it broke the line and fell back in and I was using 10 pound fluorocarbon without a liter or anything well a few weeks ago before we went to Alabama I actually hooked into another muskie with a jerk bait and I didn't have any of my cameras or anything because we actually went over to the pond and we were testing out some of my lures for Alabama and I decided to throw a jerk bait because, you know, jerk baits are pretty good for spring bass and stuff. And I ended up catching another muskie. And that muskie was the same one that I had with the gummy worms. He had the hook still in his mouth from that day. And a little bit of the fluorocarbon was still tied onto the, tied onto the hook. And we got that hook out of him and released him. Perfectly healthy fish, everything. But I just thought that was so cool that I actually caught him again earlier in the year. Cade was there, he actually recorded it for me, and he actually took it on his iPhone, which was cool, so I just got part of the fight, I didn't get the hook set or anything, and the net job and the release, but anyway, here we go. Really good, go, you want to go, take a video? Go. Get him, get him, get him. Yeah. Oh, nice job, you got him hooked really good. <laughs> Dude, big musky. That's 36 nice. inches, don't you think? Uh, yeah, I think so. How many casts is that, Okay, I'm going to get him, I'm going to get him. Like... Get him, yes, dude, yes! <laughs> On Bailey. a jerk bait, reeling it. Boy, did you have him hooked. Look yeah. at that fish. Wow, has oh. he grown. Oh, it's way down there. Wait, there's a random hook down there. That's a random hook down there. Oh my there. God, you had him hooked. Sweet. That is a random hook. There it is. Hey, didn't you say there's a... Look at that. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Didn't you say there's a big wake? That's from the gummy worm, I think. Yeah. Well, that's good that we're getting that uh, out of them. Really? Yeah. That's in the gummy worm? I think so. So take this. Geez, that's a new hook, too. Look at how new that is. Did you stay in the steel, though? That's sweet. Ew. All right. I'll make sure not to Here, drop. just wait. 
and just wiggle it back and forth. There, there she goes. goes. There she goes. Oh, dude. That was awesome. All right, so enough of me talking. Let's get to the part that all you guys clicked on this video for. Let's go out and see if we can catch some fish at the river. Well, I've got the bird's nest of a lifetime, and Kane's got a bite over here. Oh, my God. Oh. Yeah, that's a good bite. Got him? Okay, I'll get the net for you here. Where's the net? Nice sucker. Me, uh, oh yeah, it's a nice sucker. Yeah. Got him. Oh, that's a nice one. Yep, that's a white that's sucker. That's a dandy. That's a white sucker, not a red horse either. All right. Hey, look at that. That's a good one. Look at how fat he is. All right, Kane with the first white sucker of the day, so nice awesome. Female. Yeah. All right, awesome, Kane. Got him? Jeez, I didn't even realize. <laughs> you can pull him up, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, just a little one. Now that's another white sucker, right? Yep, that's a white sucker. Whoa, not, sorry. Oh, <laughs> all right. Well, it's been a little bit slow. I bet that was 20 minutes since the last one, wouldn't you think? Something yeah, like that. Still got eggs left. But yeah. They're slimy. Good little sucker. Whoa. It's cool to catch something different than just uh, those red horse all the time. All right, good job. Reeling up and he's got one. Oh, nice one. Dude, he was just reeling up and he had one. I wasn't recording because he didn't have a bite. Oh, got him. That's a nice one, dude. Do you have a tape measure? No, uh, I think I might. I'm not sure. Man, they've all just so fat. Another white sucker, too. Well, I need to get on the board, Kane. You're, you're getting them. I can't get anything. That was funny. That was a weird bite. <laughs> yeah. Just, I picked up the rod and just took off with it. Yeah, you just reeled up and he was there. Okay. So while we're waiting for our next bite, I'm just going to show you guys our rig here. It's a really simple. I mean, anybody could probably use this, and it works pretty good, too. I use this for carp fishing and sucker fishing like we're doing right here and bullhead fishing you guys saw my bullhead catfish catch and cook if you did that this is the same rig that i used for it and i've just got a little hook on here for these suckers just it's like a walleye hook i've got on here a little red hook but i'm just using it for the suckers and i usually just hook this little more this night crawler on here twice and i leave a little bit of a tail because those suckers like to nibble up on it and they bite really soft you'll just see your rod tip just barely barely moving you'll get him and like you saw in the last time Kane didn't even know he had one on he just reeled up and he was, it was there and I'm using 14 pound mono and the reason why I have 14 pound is just because this is my all-around river rod I use this for pretty much everything in the river if I'm bottom fishing and I don't have any type of leader like I said I'm just using this 14 pound mono got a little egg sinker up here I'm not sure how heavy this is I think it's like a half ounce or something and I got a little split shot on here just to hold that sinker down Got about a foot of leader so that just holds it on the bottom super simple rig and it works really good too and the reason why we have this sliding sinker here is because when the if a fish takes it they don't feel any feel any weight when they take it it just slides up so this will stay on the bottom and when a fish runs with it they don't even feel that sinker the only thing they can feel is that little split shot there which probably won't bother them much that's why i've got such a small one on there but Anyway, that's what we use that for instead of just like a whole bunch of split shots on here. Guys, Kane has got another one. We didn't even, he just reels up and they're there. This is crazy. Okay, yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, I think those, some of those smaller ones, they just sit there with them. Those suckers are so hard to tell when you've got them. All right, Kane with his fourth fish. I still haven't even gotten a bite yet. There we go. Up. That just shows how how finicky these fish are and how light they bite. It's crazy. Is that the third one you just reeled up and you had one on? Yep. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Man. Whoa. You can just pull him up, I think. There we go. <laughs> hey, that's a nice one. Not too bad. Both with eggs again. Yeah. And that red tail, that smaller head. So that's a short head red horse or just a red yep, horse? That's a short head. Short head, okay. 
Fucking dog, it's a short hair because he's got a short hair. <laughs> All right, guys, I got a bite. I missed those last two, though, so I'm going to make sure he eats it pretty good. Ooh, that was a good bite. Maybe I should take him. Okay, I'm going to check it. Yep, he's there. I feel him. I'm a little slack. Got him. Fish on. Yes, I got one. All right, there we go. Yeah, if I can get him in. Jeez, these guys, he's fighting good. Yeah, it's a red horse. Yep. It's a nice red horse, too. All right. There <laughs> we go. All right, I got one. Yes, finally. Man, it took me long enough. Oh. All right, so good little red horse here, and it is freezing out. I'm so cold right now. Oh, my gosh. My hands are freezing now that I actually finally touched the fish. Holy man. All right. Here we go. Good little red horse. Right back where he came from. I am on the board, baby. Woo! <laughs> All right, guys. So we're back out here at the sucker spot for the second day. Yesterday, we didn't come here because it was pretty nasty. We're out here today. We're going to be giving it a try. We got here out at about 3, so we got about 3 hours to fish before it starts getting dark. But we'll see how it goes. We're just fishing with worms again. That same exact rig, same exact spot. So let's see if we can get a bite. I was just reeling up my line and there was a fish on. I usually start the recording when I see a bite, but I just started when I, I just reeled up to recast and he was there. I got one. First one of the day. Man, these guys fight good. Yeah, he Jeez, good red horse. Look at that. Hey, hey, that's a good start. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. They bite even big fish like that. Just bite so light you never even see it. Or maybe I was just not paying attention. I have no idea. Small hooks. Yep, that's why it's important to use those small hooks. Even with this hook I'm using, just barely gets in there. Perfect. Right in the side of the lip there. Kind of difficult to get out, though. There we go. All right, first fish of the day. Good little red horse. What do you say? That's probably 16, 16 incher. Yeah, I bet he's 16. Yeah. So. It always surprised me is how just wide they. Yeah. Back. They got a lot of power. They can really just flip out of your hands. But all right, here we go. Ah, uh, right back down to the. Yep. Oh, that's a nice one. Here, I'll reel up my rod. Or am I? Um, I don't know. I'm just gonna reel it up. That was a good fish. Get some neck. Oh yeah. There we go. Oh yeah. That's a good one. Yeah. Go for banks. Yeah, man, they're all just stocky. Oh. All right, so it's been a little bit tougher today. We got our second one in a probably an hour. Hour and 15 minutes, probably. So there we go. Good little white sucker. Got a red horse and a white. It's probably about as big as that red horse that we caught, wouldn't you think? Yeah. So nice. Probably a solid 16. Yeah. 